Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we put together this little e-commerce site using the great Divi theme and I thought it'd be a nice addition. We just reviewed a plugin that changes language for you on your site and it's absolutely free if you just want to use one language. So you've got these two little flags up here. At the moment we've got it in English. I can click on the French one up here. And as you can see, it translates it all to French. Of course, you can use any language you want. I think they've got 96 supported languages there. Let's just close that down. Google Translate wants to translate it for me. No, thank you. And unlike Google Translate, this is done with their fast server, so it does it pretty quickly. And you can also edit anything that you find that is not correct. But for me, everything looks absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's get started. I'll undo this quickly. Let's go back to English. Okay, as you can see, we've undone what we did there. And this is really simple to set up. You just need to create yourself an account over there at Convey This. It's absolutely free, no credit card or anything like that. Just create a free account. So let's go into our dashboard and down to our plugins and let's select add new and we'll type capital C O N V E Y capital T H I S convey this and I'll put the link down below also and there it is I'm going to go ahead and hit the install once installed I'm going to hit activate and as you can see Convey this plugin is installed, but you're not yet configured. Now you can go to the configuration page by just clicking here, or you can do it here. Or if you notice down here, convey this is also in our menu down at the bottom here. So I'll just click this. And you need to configure it by having an API key. And you can go to convey this and set up your account, free account, by clicking on this link here. simply fill out this little form. I'm already registered, so I'm going to log in. And this is your dashboard that you get. And this is a free plan I've got here. No credit card or anything like that. It's telling me how many used words I've used and how many page views I've had. And I can have up to 10,000, which is quite a lot for most sites. And here's the API key that they've generated for me. So I need to copy this or hit the little copy icon, however you like to do it. it. Tells me it's been copied. Now we can go back to our plugins and pop the API key in there. There we go. Now we want to select the source language, which is the native language, which I, I'm using English. There it is. And for the other language, the only other one I speak is French, so I'll choose French, but you can do German, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish. As I say, there's about 96 languages or something that they've got here, so you can probably find one to suit you. But I'm just going to type in French. And there, it's found it for us. Okay, we can just save the changes here. We'll configure some more options in a second. Let's save the changes. Now that we save the changes, let's go back to our site and refresh the page. And now the page is refreshed. You can see down the bottom, by default, it puts it on the bottom right. You've got two little tabs there. If you click on the English, you can choose the opposite, which is French. Now you might decide you want this somewhere else on your site. Personally, I want mine up in the secondary menu right here. So let's go into our configurations and just configure it to do that. So we'll go back to the convey this settings. I'm going to say show more options. And we can't hide the logo. You need the pro or a paid version to do that. But I'm happy to display their logo seeing this. They're giving this great plugin for free. Transmate Media, that'll do your, your tags for your images. You can do P, 
PDF files if you want to. I'm not using any on this site, but that's a great one. Here's a big deal. href language tags means the French part of the site can be searched SEO search engine optimized and that's great that is really great news right there now the little select box that we had which was this little box right here you can decide to show it or not and you can also add it to your menu which is what I want to do down here I'm going to take that off because I don't want to show the box at the bottom and have it in our menu and when it shows up in the menu and at the bottom you can decide what picture and text to have well my menu is fairly crowded so I'm going to just have it as a square flag or let's put it to a circle flag just for fun and I don't want any text in there I don't want it to say English and French because it's pretty self-explanatory with the flags I think now if you had your little boxes up there still you could do a custom position for them if you wanted to and tell it where you want it but we don't have that so that's fine okay so we're good to go the only other thing is for my English I've got an American flag that's fine because I'm in America right here so if you wanted to change that you could select the British flag or Union Jack United Kingdom is going to be down at the bottom I imagine there it is so you can change it to a British one if you're doing English translation so just for fun I'll leave that like that just to show you it's going to change it and let's save our changes now to actually put this in place in our menus we need to go down to appearance and menus this will be the same for all WordPress themes and this will work on any WordPress theme it will also work on HTML and bootstrap so I'll be doing a video on that too soon okay now we're in the menus if you look down at the bottom you've got to convey this little widget right here just select the arrow select the languages you want to display if you had a pro version you can you know do 10 languages so you got to remember that there could be a lot there but for my simple free two language version this works fine I'm going to add this to the menu just hit add to menu and if we scroll down it's put it right at the bottom there actually I don't want to put it on my main menu so I'm going to remove it I actually want to put it on my secondary menu purely because my main menu here has got enough on there I think I want to put it up here in my secondary menu so let's select that one top menu select great now let's try that again convey this I want both the languages let's add it to the menu there it is and I'm going to pop it up to the top and save my changes okay well if we go back to our site now this should disappear and our two little flags should be round and they should be up here in my secondary menu and we should have no text with them so let's refresh and there they are as you can see you've got a round British flag looks kind of weird and a nice round French flag for that. and let's make sure it's going to work let's click on the French fantastic and as you can see Google Translate has popped up wanting to translate it back to English and everything's translated translated beautifully of course it can't do text that's inside of images because that's not text that's a, an actual image but everything else is done absolutely perfectly fantastic so just to show you let's tweak these a little bit Go back to our convey this. I'm not too keen on those round flags, but let's um, go to more options. Let's make them a rectangle flag, and we'll have a short text in there, English and French, I guess. Save our changes. and refresh the page there we go thank you Google Translate and there we are we've got our rectangular flags with a little short text French English
pretty self-explanatory. So that is a great little free feature to add to your site, um, especially as I'm in sort of uh, southern states in America here. I'd probably have uh, American and Spanish, which would be really handy. So well done, Convey This. It's a great little plugin. And when you sign up for your account, just go to the plans and just select the free plan. Like I say, you won't be asked for a credit card or anything. You just hit the plan, put your email address in and your details, hit subscribe, and you're good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.